So hello everyone, welcome back on the another video on DSP processor. In this video, we are going to learn about the how can we build a code, how can we build and debug a project using Code Compose Studio for TI processor TMS uh, 2837-90. So let's begin with the example and we will build a code step by step we will build a code for di processor that is 28790 okay if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel so to build and debug the code first we have to create a project so to create a project we have to go to file and we have to go to new and ccs project in the ccs project we have to create a project name that is uh, project new test this is my project name and you can make any kind of project name and empty project with man and make it and make sure your target is uh, TMS 320F2H3790 if you are building another project you can select another project and my connection is HTS 100V2 USB debug probe now I will do it finish so make sure your project name will be appearing in this list so here you can see the my project name will be appearing here and main.c file will be opened here so now what we'll do we'll create uh, some folders uh, and we will create some folder and we will link the another folders to this project so what things we are going to link so uh, we'll just we'll just right click on this one and just create new and folder so in this one we will link to alternate location and just we'll browse that part so where you can go you can go to the your c and in the c you can see your ti and uh, c2000 c2000 where and here you can see the device support and your board name will be appearing here and here you have to add the common okay and that is you can you have to select this folder and uh, this will be appearing here and you have to make it finish make it okay so this common folder will appear here now again you have to add the header folder so just create a folder and for this project and I go to the advanced tab link to the alternate location and browse it and in this one you can see here the header just the select folder and make it finish okay so one more thing you have to add the just go to this just add the file and that file will be you have to browse from C TI control suit instead of control suit you can go for C2000 and uh, the drive lib your board name your drive lib library and CCS debug and this is the library which you have to add in the project that make it finish now you have to add the folders from and you have to link and that folder will be linking from the driver lab c2000 that is the driver library and for your project then this folder you have to link just check your location and make it finish now from the common you have to exclude these things from the debug so what you can do you can just right click on this one and exclude from build because this files while building and debugging process we don't want to include in the project so this is also exclude from and this command file also exclude from build 
okay so when these files will be excluding these will be coming like this and uh, in the header you can go for include so you can exclude the source file from the project and uh, you can exclude the cmd file from the you can exclude the cmd file from the project okay so you have excluded all the files from the headers also now what you have to do you have to go to project you have to create a new folder and just make a folder name with the drivers you can make a, any kind of folders name but here i am making drivers and make it finish so from the drivers what you have to add you have to add uh, the div some header files and uh, some uh, linkers files you have to add uh, to these drivers so what are the files you have to add uh, we'll just go to the location okay you just go to the ti and c2000 c2000 where where you can go for the device support and your board name and the common cmd okay don't go to cmd these two files one is the device to attach and driver library just copy these two files from this using clicking on the control c and uh, just right click on this one and just paste it when you pasting these two files it will appear here and again you have you just go to the same file just go to the source and in the source you can see uh, the device dot c and the code start branch dot asm so these two files you just copy using control c and uh, you can paste these two file and the drivers folder okay make sure uh, up to this you have built all the projects now what you have to do you have to go to the project and just right click on this one and just check the properties when you clicking on the properties the window will be appearing here okay so in this kind of window will be appearing and you can go to the build c2000 compiler and go to the include options and include options you can see your uh, include search path so uh, just click on this green symbol plus button and you can go to the workspace and your project name is a project new test and here you can see your common files and the common you can go to the include just click on this so this will be included here again you can follow the same process for the header files include again you can go to the workspace same process driver life and again you can go to this uh, you have to browse the um, library from your C folder C TI and here C2000 where drive live so this library you have to add in your project okay so once you have done this you can go to the predefined symbols because we are running this for uh, this project in the cpu one so you can create a file the cpu one here and you can create a debug predefined name you can uh, create a you can create a underscore flash and you can create a underscore real headers okay and make it apply and okay
so once it is done uh, this board is ready to build we just build it and we'll just check whether the error is coming here or not so we have built the project so here uh, zero errors and five warnings so warning we can exclude so now this code is ready to uh, this window is ready to write your program so here what we'll do we'll just create a simple LED blinking program to uh, run the LED so I have already written the code so I'll just copy and paste the code here okay so now what we'll do we'll just uh, build the project so when we are building the project we, we will see the uh, the errors warning in this window so here the build finished and there is uh, no errors so what can we do we can click hit on this button and uh, this will start building the project so it will take few seconds to complete the project okay so when I hit uh, the button uh, the resume button you can see the LED is getting blinking okay and when we uh, stop it and when we suspend it so LED is stop blinking so if we are continuously doing this the LED start blinking uh, you can see the LED is blinking here so with this one uh, you can build and debug the code for uh, F2H3790 uh, microcontroller so if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe the channel for and comment me on the comment section for such kind of the videos thank you thank you very much